sorry about that. Um, just a little bit of dirt on my lens because I've been in the middle room all day today. Hey everybody, it is Molly at Driven and I wanted to give you a quick look at some of the progress that is related to the SEMA build for 2019 um, that is sponsored by Summit Racing and Steel Rubber Company. Um, this is Mom's T-Bird because it was the family, um, the owner's mom's car when uh, it was purchased in 1961 by their dad it was given to their mom and we have been furiously working to get it ready for chassis fitment which um, the chassis should be here by friday monday at the latest i would guess because they're creating it up today and shipping it out um, that is coming from scott's hot rods down in kentucky and um i have been working furiously to get like the main structure on the outer wheel houses set up and getting like yesterday, I cut out the spare tire housing out of the trunk, and today I made the patch. I'm going to be finishing up final fit and then welding that in place by tomorrow. And uh, the wheel housings are done. Both of the outers are done, and then we've got the um, like the dog leg structures that fit down. So I'll give you a look at that. And we also did some work on the Coyote engine today. Um, so it is looking like an engine, and it is ready to start fitment once the chassis is here. So... This is what I did today. Um, what was in this spot, um, and this is a handmade panel, didn't buy it. Uh, what I did was I cut the, um, this, the wheel housing out, so that's the spare tire well. And I cut it about an inch away from the actual lip where it was so that I would have basically a flanged lip to do spot welds to. It will look completely seamless once it's welded. Um, when you come around the other side, so this was all bead rolled in-house. We just wanted to kind of match the style of the original trunk floor. So we carried this up here. It does add some structural integrity to that floor pan as well. And when you look at it from the top, um, it's going to end up looking seamless. So this, this was all bead rolled so that we have the proper lip. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes. Right now these are just um, self-tap screws so that it's holding the panel flush and it's all fitted properly. It's meeting that, that indented lip that you saw on the other side. And then about every inch and a half, or if you want to do it the simple way, do like every two fingers there will be a hole. Two fingers, then a hole. And then that will be the spot weld to secure the panel onto the uh, trunk Floor. So obviously there's going to be a few other things that we have to repair, like, um, oh, I don't know, this. That's no, There's nothing there. So this is all going to get patched. Probably this whole piece here is going to get replaced. But we can't do that yet because it is tied into the floor structure. So when we end up doing that patch, um, it's this one here. So this is the trunk floor, this piece here, but right next to it is the frame rail. And now, right now this is a unibody car, so it's not a full frame car. You can see how it's got the frame rail up here in the back, the frame rail here in the back, and then all of the structure is tied into the floor, and it's got a couple of structural components here. Um, so all of this is getting replaced, this whole rail, cross member, Everything related to suspension and structure will become a chassis. So before we do any of the floor repairs, before we do any of the, uh, the um, other wheel housing and the trunk support repair, we have to actually have the chassis in place or otherwise we have nothing to weld it to. So we are ready. Um, mm -hmm. Earlier this week, I made this piece. I've got it welded. This one is ground down on both sides. There's just a few little spots to fix up. Um, I also have the other outer wheelhouse is fitted. Um, all of those were test fitted with the new quarter panels, making sure that all the body lines are looking good, lining up. Um, and then the final fit on the actual quarter panel patches is going to happen once the car is on the chassis and we can fit the wheels because we need to make sure that the big fancy wheels that we are putting on it are actually going to fit within there. Um, these are... The outside quarter panels were 
purchased because the ones that we had were so rotted that there was absolutely no way to actually tell what the angles were where the body lines ended up. So we ended up buying those, but that doesn't mean that they fit. What happened is I've actually had to do a fair amount of um, adjustment on them. So like you can see up on this one, I had to bring that angle way farther out that is still gonna get cleaned up. Um, the other side, I had to clean up this angle here. The, the quarter panel's not on here, but um, neither side fit quite perfectly. Uh, so that's where knowing what you're looking at, lining up the body panels and getting all of the metal work set correctly is extremely important. So that's kind of where we're at with the body right now. I'm gonna take you over and give you a sneak peek at the Coyote engine because it came in what two days ago not even and um, we wasted no time getting this thing put together we well i shouldn't say we i had nothing to do with it i was working on the car body um, steve and rachel today got the transmission mounted up to the engine so we've got the six speed transmission and it is mounted to our coyote motor from Summit Racing. They did a wonderful job of crating it up and getting it to us without any damage, no issues at all. Yesterday, Steve made the mount brackets for the factory mount points. So he fabricated this out of um, pretty thick steel. He made the bracket to mount to the holes here and then he mounted it to the holes in the back. You can see it there. Um, so now when we need to lift the engine and trans, we can lift it here and it will be balanced and we can control the transmission as well. Um, we also have a beautiful March Performance pulley system that is going to accommodate uh, aftermarket air conditioning and power steering system with this build. And it is looking awesome. Um, there's gonna be some kind of dressing up done in the engine bay just to make sure that it looks the part. Um, I personally kind of like the center section, but I think we're gonna do something kind of around it just to make this portion of the engine um, hidden and a little prettier with something that's accessible, functional, and looks really good. Steve, anything to add? No, I think you covered it. Okay. All right, so that is our quick update on our SEMA 2019 build. Thank you so much to Summit Racing for the amazing part so far, and we cannot wait to get the rest of them in. Uh, we've, we've got the chassis coming. As soon as that gets here, uh, we'll post some pictures, let everybody see it. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> it's been a long winter so yeah. far. <laughs> yeah, we're ready for some spring. All right, um, I got to go because I have a kids' conference that I got to go take part in at the school. And um, hopefully I'll finish up that trunk pinch tomorrow, get it welded in place, and then off we go. So thank you so much for checking us out. Uh, please share our photos. We don't advertise. We rely on social media, word of mouth, and that sort of thing. And we are um, really, really grateful for your support of our small business. And we're growing rapidly, so... Maybe we won't be so small so soon. See you later. Bye-bye.